The system settings are located in the menu at the top right hand corner of the screen. At the beginning of this tutorial we use the system settings to set up the system language. You will see that many things in the system settings will sound familiar. We have already talked about language support, additional drivers, network and backup. This time let's take a look at some other useful settings. Note that there are three main sections. The personal stuff, the hardware setup and the system configurations. Appearance lets you personalize your desktop changing the background image. You can click on one of the default images or choose another picture from your pictures folder. If you choose the colors and gradients option you can change the color using the color button below. On the same window you can also change the theme of your desktop and the size of the icons in the launcher. In the behavior tab you can choose to hide the launcher and adjust how it behaves. You can also decide if you want to show or hide the workspace switcher and the show desktop button. You can also decide if you want to have the menus on the menu bar or on the window title bar. To go back to the previous window click on all settings at the top of the window. Brightness and lock sets the brightness of your screen and the delay before turning it off if the computer is idle. You can also select to lock your computer when your screen turns off and also locking it with your login password. Security and privacy lets you decide when a password is required to access the computer. It also lets you decide if file and application usage should be turned on to help you find recent items on the dash. But it also allows you to turn off the online search that is performed by default on the dash. Finally, you can choose to send usage data to Canonical for their statistics. Displays let you set the resolution of your screen and eventually also of a second display. Keyboard is useful to adjust how fast a key is repeated if held down and to set up shortcuts. Mouse and touchpad allows you to adjust the sensitivity of the mouse movements and clicks and choose some nice features for a touchpad like two finger scrolling and horizontal scrolling. If your hardware does not support these features they might not appear as an option. Power lets you determine the delay to suspend your hard drives if the computer is idle. Details show you the version of Ubuntu you are running and some basic hardware specifications. You can also choose here what is your preferred application for common tasks. We have seen already about half of the options in the system settings. Going into every option in one video would be a bit daunting. We will still use the system settings in the next videos but you can just go on and explore for yourself. On the next video we will see how to keep your system up to date.